Hello. Morning, buenos dias, bon dia. Welcome, and I want to thank you for attending this session. Last year, we announced our collaboration with UNM and our intent to build an autonomous truck together. This year, we are uh, announcing and we are talking about uh, giving you updates on what happened during this year and all the developments. So, my name is Marcos Mandim. I'm now a product manager for Autonomous. I'm based in Brazil. And uh, I want to call Mauricio Casara, my good friend from UNM. He's going to talk about UNM and what they are doing. And then I'll come back. Mauricio. Good morning to all. Thank you for being here. Uh, like Marco said, I'm Mauricio Casar. I'm the commercial manager for UNM. And we're going to talk a little bit about UNM and the work that we are doing with uh, Exagon. Uh, so our agenda for today is, I'll, I'll talk about a bit uh, of UNM, what we do and who we are, uh, the origin of the autonomous project within UNM, uh, the roadmap so far uh, for, for this project, and the results that we, that we have today. Uh, UNM is a mining contractor. We employ around 3,000 people in Brazil. Uh, we are only based in Brazil today. We had a contract in Africa in the past, but only in Brazil today. Uh, uh, we run uh, around 800 equipment, uh, off-road mining equipment, both production and support equipment. Uh, and and we, we were born in 1958. Uh, a company was founded by a, a young engineer and his wife. Uh, and then the, the sons came in today. The president of UNM is the youngest son of the founder of the company. The company is still owned by the family, but 15% of the shares of the company are, are held by, by the employees. So we have 200 of those 3,000 employees that hold shares uh, on the company. Uh, and, and UNM is about that, it's about people and about equipment. Knowing well our people, treating our people, they will treat well our machines. And that's how we learn, and, that, and that's how we built uh, UNM into the largest mining contractor in, 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 the, in the Americas today. Native born uh, uh, American contractor. We moved last year around the uh, 300 million tons in different mine sites, from copper to gold to bauxite to uh, phosphate. Uh, and we only do open pit, only, only open pit mine. Uh, so the origin of the, the autonomous uh, project at UNM. I mentioned about knowing about machines. We learn how to deal with our, our machines. Uh, People that are from Brazil know that the, the support from the OEM is not always uh, that good, especially for a small mining contractor that we were in the past. So we learn how to deal with the machines, to retrofit the machines with new engines, with updated uh, technology, and that gave us the, the opportunity to start working on this project. Uh, what was the base, uh, the, the base idea for the, for the retrofitting the, the older trucks that we had in our fleet? Always safety. We, 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 didn't, go, we didn't want to go to autonomous because it's, it's, uh, it's a trend where everyone is talking about autonomous. You are focused on safety. So this retrofit should be easy, easy to install. We are mining contractors. Today we are here. In two years we are in another mine site. In five years we are somewhere else. So it could not be a, a, a heavy infrastructure needed to, to, to be built for the truck to run. So it, it, it must be re retrofitable. You, you can install in any truck, in any brand. Doesn't, doesn't need to be a Cat or a Comato or whatever, any truck. So that was the base for the project, OEM agnostic. And you, you could remove from one truck and fit into another. So it's a... It's a easy to install and retrofitable into any truck. <clears throat> Here, a, a bit about the history of that project. Now, we started internally without the, without, in, in 2018, we, we were not together with, with Hexagon yet. We started our kit with a level three. I don't know if everyone is familiar with level one, two, three, four, five, but level three is, is a, a, 
initial level of autonomy. That you still need the truck driver there. He has to maneuver the truck to be loaded, and the truck just go from point A to B uh, by itself. So we installed on a CAT 777C, a 30 years old truck, uh, in 2018. We continue to, to upgrade that, uh, that kit in 2019, and we threw, it took it to a mine, to a real mine site. Uh, uh, by the way, I, I didn't mention, we have a proving ground at our head office in Juiz de Fora, in Minas Gerais, in Brazil. So we, everything that we do in-house, we test there, we are able to test. Uh, in 2020, we upgraded to level four, so the truck was, we, we upgraded its, its uh, capabilities. And we also installed on a second model, uh, Komatsu 730. Uh, and that's when we started the, 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 the partnership with Hexagon, in 20, uh, late 2020, early 2021. 20, uh, and then in 21, that's, that's when we developed the spot system so the excavator can call the truck to park in a certain place to be loaded. And we began the, the, the journey with Hexagon. In, in 2022, we upgraded the, those two pictures that you see below, they are, they are real the real hardware that we build at UNM. Uh, we upgraded the, 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 the drive-by-hire model of both models, the 730 and the 777, uh, and, and, and we tested it at the proving ground and, to, uh, and, and in two different mine sites. And 2023, that's why we are here today. We are proud to announce that we have a real truck that's going to a real mine on, on level five, uh, uh, next month. So it's a, it's a long journey, uh, and then the partnership with, uh, with Hexagon was, was incredible to take us, to take us here. I'll, I'll call back uh, Marcus so he'll give more details on, on what we did and when we show some, some, some videos and pictures of what, do, what we are doing at UNM together with Hexagon. Thank you. Thanks, Mauricio. Thank you. All right, so Hexagon's autonomous program is the combination of several different technologies in, in the company. So to give you an example, we have Novatel's positioning uh, mounted in this truck. We will have fleet management system, collision avoidance, personal alert, VIS, and mission manager. Today, I'm proud to announce the release of Mission Manager 1.0. That's uh, our most, most recent work in the Belo Horizonte team. And Mission Manager is the layer of the system, of the autonomous system, that is interfacing with the real autonomous machines and the fleet management system. With Mission Manager, we augment the potential of the fleet management system and providing all the information that the autonomous trucks need and they are not provided by the fleet management itself. And I say that because uh, when, when we have human operators, we just tell them where to go and what to do and they will figure it out. They know where to load and unload, how to approach the uh, excavator and all of this. But that's not the case with autonomous trucks. That's why we need Mission Manager. Mission Manager is doing this interface. And we created a brand new interface for Mission Manager. We are releasing it now. And uh, 
As a matter of fact, uh, Mission Manager uh, already uh, earned the uh, 2021 Equipment Award of the Mining Magazine. So we are really proud of that. And give you, uh, to put in perspective, we are already using Mission Manager 1.0 at UNM Proving Ground. And this is footage that we have from there. Uh, we can see Mission Manager and uh, assigning missions to the truck and uh, negotiating uh, intersections, negotiating access to the, to the area, commanding the, the dump of the material. For now, we are still simulating because there's no, uh, for now, still don't have a big enough shovel to load this truck at the proving ground. But here you can see a quick glimpse of what we're doing and what we are preparing for uh, later this year, starting next month in a mine in Brazil. We're deploying the full autonomous truck there, starting our tests. And uh, I'm also uh, happy to say that UNM has already integrated our systems. They are already talking to uh, hexagons, uh, world perception, collision avoidance, and positioning system, and they are already receiving all the missions from Mission Manager. So that work makes me really proud, and I'm also proud of UNM, and this work is being really nice. And that's what I want to show you today. I hope you enjoy, and see you next year with more details and more to come.